Hello there, welcome to Next Gen Learning. I'm Sijish. In this video, we will see how to use find command. So, in our day to day life, we may need to locate certain files or directories, and we may not be knowing the exact location where these files are. So, find will give you a solution for that. So, always refer this official main page for more details. You can just get this main page by typing man find and go through this at least once and also use this as a reference documentation. Now we will go to some sample example. The first step uh, use the how this command use find then where you want to do the search like dot means current working directory here you can use the directory under which you need to search. So dot means it will search in my current working directory so what is my uh, current working directory it's a slash root okay uh, i can just use find dot then iphone name if you know uh, the name you can use iphone name and what uh, file name i want to search like i'm just searching nextgen dot txt okay it will search for this particular for any files with this name or it can be a directory also in that case it will search for this name and whatever the files or directory matching with this particular string it will print so also it will look only in the current working directory so current working directory under current working directory i have a demo and under that i have this file okay and also another thing so this is for a current working directory if you want to search in some other directory what we can do is find slash okay then use the same option so in this case it will search under slash directory okay and uh, it takes some time normally under slash it has to search one by one you can see under home also we have this file and if i want to search only under home then it will search all the files or subdirectories under slash home and print that so that is the directory part the first argument should be the directory where you want to search then the name means the name of the file you want to search so normally we have seen here uh, the find the name argument is case sensitive so here in our example here you can see see even though I have uh, files with uppercase and all and if I do find dot hyphen name see uh, this one next gen dot txt it's just taking the exact matching one so if you want to do a case insensitive search use this iphone i option i name okay then you can see the all other like uppercase and lowercase or combination of this also works okay so you can use either name if you have want to do a case sensitive search or i name if you want to do case insensitive search so next we will see how to filter and files and directories in the search so we have an option called type that we can use for filtering uh, directories or files uh, in this example i have uh, files i can show you uh, here see i have a directory next gen and also under test i have a file called next gen okay so if i do find slash home then i have a name next gen and it it's printing all the uh, files or directories okay this is the directory and uh, this uh, two are files okay so this this is printing both files and directory it's just uh, checking the name okay if it's a file name if I just uh, see this type it's a directory if I just check the type here and uh, it's a ASCII text file and uh, if I test this one this is also an empty file Okay, so this search will uh, get you 
both files and directory and if you want to uh, filter directory alone there is an option called type where you can use uh, you can use it at any place hyphen type d t stands for directory sorry not on the current directory so we don't have anything in the current directory it's under slash home okay so type d means so this is the this will give you the directory if in place of type if i use f it will print all the files so basically you can filter using this type option type can be file or directory so if you use iphone f it will print the files with remaining condition and if you use type d it will filter or it will print only that those directories so next you can uh, use in uh, place of name something like the start so that it will print for example if i just use a find slash iphone name star dot txt so this star can be anything okay anything followed by txt that means all the files which is ending with the txt you can see it's printing all the text file and again the option which i used is find slash so this is the location where you want to search iphone name then star dot txt okay so you can use this star any anywhere so this star means any one or more or zero or more combination of characters then dot txt it will print that so next uh, we can uh, filter or uh, find based on the permission so you can use the find slash and again uh, i'm just using iphone perm permission what is the type of permission so i can just use triple seven triple seven means a uh, full execute read write execute for all the people so these are the files okay and also here also i can use iphon name if you know the name of the file or name you want to search so iphon perm is used for searching based on the permission okay and also the permission you can use uh, say for example for user you have a read access okay that means for our user id what are what are the files with the read access or i can use w means what are the files which i have write access and uh, and execute so what are the files which i have execute uh, or file or directory where i have execute here also i can use some other combination so in place of user i can use a group so that is my group is with the execute access so basically we have one more option called hyphen perm so which will filter based on the permission and next uh, we can uh, use uh, another option called hyphen empty it will list the empty file find the slash so if you want to search name use hyphen name all these are optional name if i just use the find slash means it will print everything so that is what i again i am saying the find then directory is mandatory but we should tell where to execute then we can use other option so iphone empty means it will print all the empty files okay so these are all empty files and again if i just want to do it in our home directory what are empty file yes this much are empty files empty files or it can be a directory also if i just want to use empty file means type f and type d for directory so it will print empty files and directories by default and if you want to filter only empty files then use iphone type option so next we will see okay say for example you want to uh, filter out empty files and then delete that so we have an option called exec with which will uh, do certain linux command based on that filter result say for example if i'm just using empty file i want to delete this to empty file so one option is you can use this into some variable and use rm rf but 
find also provides a command line option called iphone exec which you can use for executing something i will show you that find dot iphone empty then iphone type f then iphone exec this is the one which we need to use then what are the command ls iphon l opening and closing brace there is one space slash then semicolon what it will do okay so exec you need to check this is the normal linux command any linux command you can add here then these are the standard option so there is one space then opening and closing brace without space and again one space slash semicolon so that means so whatever the result of this find command so on that result we are executing so it's nothing but we are executing ls on these two so if i want to remove this thing and again i can just use rm iphone f <clears throat> then there is a space then opening and closing brace without space and again one space slash so what it will do on the result this command provide it will execute this command that's it now if i do ls nothing is there so that means on the results it executed this exec option so along with the exec you can use any linux command and uh, the remaining part this part is standard so next is we can uh, just uh, filter out the files or directories or uh, use the find based on the user or group membership so i can just use the find slash iphone user and whatever the username we have okay why i have os boxes then it will print all the files on by this os boxes if you type ls iphone l you can see ld this is the directory maybe i need to use the d so you can see the ownership is os boxes okay so basically so this is the command slash user okay and whatever the user then it will print or it will find all the files or directories with the ownership this one similarly we have another option called group so it will filter or find files based on the group membership here if you see here this file so it's group membership also os boxes similarly you can use it for any other groups also so you can filter based on the user or based on the group also there are a lot more options available with the find command i request you to go through this official documentation and try it out thank you for watching this video we will see in the next tutorial bye